Hey y'all, it's Asiata. Welcome back to another hacking tutorial. I'm going to show you how to edit Mart items and their prices in Pokemon Heart Gold. So this tutorial is going to require you to use HD Engine, which is the premier hacking tool in Gen 4 Hacking, which is a C injection and assembly uh, project that people have been working on for a couple years now. If you have not used that before, please check the description for the link to how to get started in that. I have a very in-depth tutorial on how you can uh, download and install it. It's not easy to install, but it is a really, really good tool. I want to give a shout out to Drayano here, who I asked for permission to share this with you guys since he made the template for this assembly uh, code. Big shout out to him, and let's get started. Alright, so to begin, we're going to get your HD Engine folder. So here I have my HD Engine folder, and I'm going to go into my RMIPS folder, and then I'm going to go into my ASM folder, and I'm going to make a new folder called Custom here. Alright, so I've already made this new folder, but just right click and make your new folder, click into that. And I'm going to give you this new template for Mart items. You're going to call this Mart items. Just uh, uh, I will give you a link to the download for this template. Uh, so that will also be in the description in my Google Drive. So we're going to just put that uh, file into this folder. And we're going to open it up and take a look at what's inside of it. So the way this works is really simple. Uh, this is an assembly document. And what it's going to do is insert new uh, bytes of code into your ROM. And so there's a couple constants set up here. So zero badges, one, two, three, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then there's going to be different uh, items associated with different amounts of badges. So what you can do here is uh, edit specifically what item you want to be available with how many badges. And this is a exhaustive list, so you can't, I'm pretty sure you cannot add on to the end of this. So you only want to be editing these things because I think you'll otherwise overwrite bytes that you don't want to be overwriting. There's two types of shops in Heart Gold. And uh, again, this is only for Heart Gold, not Soul Silver, because we only have HD Engine, not Soul Silver Engine, but the two games are basically the same. And I can show you how to change the title screen and stuff in another video. Um, essentially, there's two types of shops. The first one is going to be uh, associated with the number of badges you have. And then if you scroll down, you'll be able to see, uh, just ignore this stuff for now, you'll be able to see, um, like for instance, Cherry Grove City Second Clerk and Violet City Second Clerk. There'll be sometimes extra uh, people in the shop who are willing to sell you different items, such as the netball and the heel ball. And so these will be location based, whereas the ones up here will be badge based. And so you have different options for what you want to do. Uh, you can scroll through this on your own time and see. There's some things at Critique, and then you have uh, the department store. The way Jayano has stuff set up, you can buy. Um, uh, mints and such, uh, ability capsules, etc, etc. Uh, mints did just get added to HG Engine, so uh, those should work and you should be able to change your nature. Uh, ability capsule, ability patch, all that stuff should be implemented. Uh, and so I have right here, for example, the gentleman and the adamant. I like to call that the adamant mint. And you want to make sure that the correct item is referenced here. And so you can actually find the correct items uh, by going back into your HD engine, uh, go back into RMIPS, and go into include, and then go into item nums. And this should open up all the different items and uh, basically their names. And so you'll want to pick something from this list and make sure it's spelled correctly. So you could even sell like mega stones, I think, uh, some of the new items. Uh, not all of these are implemented yet, so you'll want to make sure that they're actually implemented in the game. So something like uh, bottle caps, I, I'm not sure if are in the game. Um, I'll have to check on that. But uh, some of the newer stuff, like from, uh, you know, like the rusted sword for Zashin might not be implemented yet. So uh, try to stick to just Gen 4 items and stuff you know has been implemented. And it should also auto-complete, so you'll notice if I do like Lonely Mint, uh, it will auto-complete it, or Lopanite for Lopani, you know, whatever. So I'll go Lonely Mint here. Um, and basically just hit save. You have to do one more thing, because this is a brand new file that the game doesn't know about and HG Engine doesn't know about. You need to tell it to compile this when you uh, compile your ROM. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your RMIPS folder and then go to this global.s. And so I already have this open here. And what you want to do is copy and paste this line, which I will put in the description, uh, include this RMIPS ASM custom Mart items. So basically, we're just telling it where the file is located so that it will uh, build with this file included. It says include. So that's how uh, you 
will do things in assembly and C++, you'll need to have an include statement somewhere. And once you have those two things, you are good to go. So uh, again, if you've never used HD Engine, I would recommend you look at that first, but we always run HD Engine using WSL. And so hit Windows key and R and type in WSL, hit OK. I've already done this, so I already have my terminal up and I'm already in the directory that um, HG Engine is built. And you'll notice that I've already uh, built this ROM with these changes. So what you'll want to do is make dash J dollar sign and then parentheses NPROC. And what this will do is this will make the ROM with the correct number of processors that your computer has. So this will run as fast as possible since we have had problems with make jobs uh, in the past, we recommend uh, over at HG Engine, we recommend you do make dash J and proc. Okay, so you'll run that and it will build the ROM. Uh, now, let me show you uh, what this will look like. Here we are at Azalea Town, and I am just in front of this Pokemart, uh, and I'm gonna go in and check the items. So, if you go to the second clerk, you'll notice I have things like Netball, Heal Ball. This is the second clerk, so you'll have to edit these items separately. And, you'll, and this clerk should have the items that I just changed. So here we are, gentleman, adamant, uh, all of those nice things. So this is how you change uh, Mart items, but you'll probably also wonder how to change Mart prices. And this is uh, equally as easy to do. It's just gonna be changing a number in a file that already exists in HG Engine. So let's go take a look at that. So to change the Mart item prices, we're going to want to go back into our HG Engine directory. We're gonna want to go into data and then item data and then item data dot C. And you'll notice that I already have this open over here. Uh, and so I'll, you'd normally click on that and it just says price and then 5,000. You can just change that number. And there's quite a lot of other things you can do here, such as changing the different power, you know, fling gives and uh, natural gift, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, you can also change the EV yield from things like vitamins. So if we go to let's say iron, item iron, uh, you can change. You can check the defense EV up param. I'm not sure if there's a cap on this. I think the HD Engine devs may have been working on making this uncapped. Uh, I also believe Driano has a specific ASM edit for that, which I will try and cover in another video once I figure that out. Um, but you can change all sorts of things here. Uh, basically, any item that you want, you can just scroll down or you can just control F like I did, and that should be good to go, and you can just change the items that way. So that's how you do more items. Uh, thank you for watching. If this helped you, please subscribe. Since I'm going to be making more tutorials like this, I'm gonna help you all to keep up to date on the new developments in HG Engine, and all sorts of fun things you can do to make your life easier in hacking like that. So if that's the case, uh, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. So I'll see you out.